before us, we have a para jumble. So let's try to solve it. So let us first try to find what the general idea of the passage is about. From my initial scanning, I can see that it is certainly talking about Queen Cleopatra of ancient Egypt. So this talks about the Israeli actress Gal Gadot playing the role of Cleopatra and the controversy surrounding the same. So let us see if we can arrange the sentences in order. Following this week's announcement that the Israeli actress Gal Gadot will play ancient Egypt's Queen Cleopatra in a new movie, social media erupted in a bitter battle between advocates for greater diversity in film and opponents of what is perceived as political correctness gone mad. All right, so this sentence, this sentence uh, talks about, see, this has a word called following, right? It's following what? That, that should be a question. But uh, for the sad part is that the question is answered here right away, following this week's announcement, right? So this, I've always asked you to question uh, words like this and that, what they're referring to. But obviously this question is from, uh, this uh, statement is from a uh, current recent news piece, most likely. So it is referring to this in the present tense. So this is nothing but the current week. Whenever, what was, whatever was the current week for the date of publication of this news report. So whenever I tell you to use these words, be careful that they're not addressed in the sentence itself. So, which is here the case with following as well as this. So, that makes them practically useless. For the following this week's announcement that the Israeli actress Gal Gadot will play ancient Egypt's Queen Cleopatra in a new movie, social media erupted in a bitter battle between advocates for greater diversity in film and opponents of what is perceived as political correctness gone mad. Now, I can find two primary things based on my reading of the sentence. First, following this week's announcement. So if this is from a news report, this uh, may be following and this are useless, but this thing is not useless for sure. This is a timestamp, right? And this is not an ordinary timestamp. This is a current timestamp. Unless, uh, unlike these timestamps, first century BCE or, uh, you know, other things like that, this following, it's, it is a current timestamp. So uh, most likely this is an introductory timestamp because uh, it starts with following this week's announcement. This is how typically news reports start, right? And what else I can see is uh, this para has, uh, this para talks about a battle between two sides. So most likely the following sentences, the sentences that follow it will build upon what the two sides are. Like there will be, most likely there will be one sentence which talks about ad the arguments of the advocates of greater diversity in film. And there will be another sentence which advocates for opponents of what is perceived as political correctness. Now. I'm expecting this unless this sentence is the last sentence. If this is not the last sentence, there will definitely be two sentences, one which talks of their argument and one which gives their argument, right? Now let us check if that is the case. I can definitely see that there is something called a pro gadget camp. So these are most likely the people who uh, are opponents of what is perceived as political correctness because they support the selection of a white uh, European actress as uh, Cleopatra. And then there are people who advocate greater diversity in film. And you can see critics. So one, there are two opposing words. One is pro, one is critics. So the one is uh, with them, one is opposite to them, anti. So these critics are likely the ones who are saying that, no, Cleopatra should have been chosen from a, a woman of African Arabic descent, right? So uh, most likely this should be the case. Now let us see. Uh, if the the fourth sentence, uh, the remaining sentence uh, actually supports that uh, premise or whether these sentences support that premise. So the first century BC queen was a member of the Ptolemaic dynasty, distant descendants of Ptolemy, the general who ruled Egypt after Alexander the Great's conquest of the country. So the first century BC queen was a member of the Ptolemaic dynasty. So distant descendants of Ptolemy, the generals who ruled Egypt after Alexander the Great's conquest of the country. So this uh, explains the background of Cleopatra, right? So I'm not pretty sure where this goes. So let me first order these two sentences, right? So this, uh, for now, this sentence is likely our uh, sentence number one, right? And then uh, we go, we look at the other two sentences that are built upon by uh, this. So the pro gadget camp encountered that Cleopatra. So first of all, we declare, introduce an argument, right? We introduce something, then we expand on something in detail. So we introduce these two sites, right? And now we are detailing these two sites. 
so uh, as you can see the pro gadget now now which of these two comes first i know these two come after this sentence but which of these two comes first now there is one speculatory way of finding it and one sure way of finding it let's see what the speculatory way of finding is the speculatory way of finding is is because uh, it, it assumes that the author would be considerate enough that if he has given this in this respective order first he has mentioned the advocates of greater diversity that is the critics of gal gadget the appointment and opponents of political correctness they are actually the support opponents of political correctness so they are supporters of gal gadget selection choice as cleopatra so uh, we see whether that is the case so first there should be critics critics contend that a person of color should have been cast as cleopatra an african arab or mixed heritage actress should have been given the part but not gadget a jew of eastern european descent so i think d should be the first sentence because d is mentioned first in the initial sentence so d should come first and then pro gadget camp should come but this is only speculation this is only half hearted proof now let us find a solid proof if you look this sentence itself shows that the pro gadget camp countered that cleopatra herself was apparently a white woman of greek or macedonian descent right so and that historical records show arabs only reached egypt after cleopatra's descent so look now i'll just clear up the clutter to show you because you just have to remember that for now what is our deduction that this sentence and this sentence follow this sentence right now let me clear this clutter off so yeah now uh, what we'll i'll do is i'll mark with a different color so yeah uh, critics content uh, so see this arabs show arabs only reached egypt so why is this argument being made and the focus keyword is only because only is used so there is something critical why do we use only because to highlight something right some critical point that this is not this this is this and this only happened after that so this depends on something right so arabs only reached egypt if you see this is here uh, arab right so i think this sentence invokes this sentence right so this sentence will come later this sentence will come first and that was what i said here so our speculation was correct that uh, this advocates of greater diversity in film this this thing this thing comes first and then comes opponents of what is perceived as political correctness so this is the pro gadget camp this comes second one more thing uh, the uh, countered see countered how do you counter first something needs to be made right in uh, it, suppose it's a ten, uh, it's a boxing match then you hit a counter so you hit a counter in response to something if a country has attacked us then we attack the country back in a counter right so uh, that is a counter counter attack counter attack is always done in response to an attack so this also shows that this sentence follows this sentence also cleopatra herself look at the critical word herself it is also stressing means once it has been declared that someone is a white woman which is most likely gal gadot and then it is saying that cleopatra herself was an apparently a white woman so Uh, just look gal gadot a jew of eastern european descent so cleopatra herself being a white woman or greek or macedonian descent this thing connects all the way here so you see how many dependencies are there counter depends on this so counter depends on this arab depends on this uh, cleopatra herself her descent this descent depends on this right and plus this order this order right so we have four proofs four solid proofs exceptional level of proof that sentence d uh, sentence d is the precursor of sentence c so we mark it as uh, tentatively as two because we have not figured this out yet so let us just mark it tentatively and this we are sure that this is one this was already fixed okay now let us see if this makes sense in four if it doesn't we'll try to fit it in uh, elsewhere but let's see if four is the obvious order we'll crack it directly the first century bc queen the first century bc queen now ask who the is a specific word who is the first century bc queen right that cannot be the first sentence because a specific article is being used the specific article the is being used so the first century queen so this is cleopatra now cleopatra is mentioned uh, in all three sentences right but if you look uh this uh this sentence is talking about uh, the battle this is talking about the battle right this sentence is talking about the battle so this cannot build a premise for talking about cleopatra and this sentence although it starts with cleopatra 
it is uh, its focus is uh, you know its focus is the descent of gal gadet this focus is the descent of gal gadet which is followed in the next sentence so this battle leads to these two sentences so there is a continuity in which b cannot interfere and this sentence leads to these two sentences b cannot interfere in this continuity cannot insert its leg right there right so uh, now if you can see uh, these two sentences continue but this cleopatra comes here twice and in the starting as well as in the ending so arabs only reached centuries after cleopatra's death so pro gadet camp this sentence uh, is about cleopatra and then this sentence builds the premise for this sentence since it is principally about cleopatra so this builds this uh, this for this sentence right the pro gadet camp uh, so and it, this this is basically justifying it right that they were direct descendants of ptolemy after alexander the, alexander the great was no arab alexander the great was no african alexander the great was a greek a macedonian right so this is what is uh, being referred here greek or macedonian descent can you connect greek and macedonian with alexander so see we have another connect here right so many connects all the way and uh, ptolemy even so this is all proof of uh, pro gadet camp right not uh, critics since these are all european so they are saying that cleopatra was of european more of a white uh, woman than a uh, black or arab woman and hence it is not appropriation it is that gal gadet's rule uh, role is fitting so that is the what the author of the passage is trying to say that is their opinion so uh, i think i have solved the question this is for and this is for so our order is uh, i'll just uh, mark it our order is this so this is the first sentence following the week's announcement this is second talking about critics this is third talking about the pro lobby and the fourth the final uh, the starting of the entire justification of the fourth lobby which likely will be followed in the passage in the paragraphs after invisible in this passage that come after this paragraph in the article from which this is taken which is mentioned here so that's the order and uh, thank you very much i uh, hope to see you again